Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and today I want to discuss how I believe Huey, Dewey, and Louie are handling the McDuck legacy by breaking down the DuckTales Halloween special. And of course, if you're new here and you'd like to join our community of amazing and supportive nerds, then consider subscribing. Talking about DuckTales was exactly what I needed this week. Not only because I was in a constant state of overthinking, but also because I really was excited to get into the Halloween mood. The season three episode, The Trickening, definitely was able to accomplish both of those tasks and got me thinking about the McDuck family again. Now, even though it seems like Scrooge McDuck will live forever going on adventures, the boys continue to wrestle with what their purposes and roles will be in the world after he's gone. Specifically in The Trickening, we get to see how all three of the boys can embody different perspectives that exist in Scrooge that almost seem to clash with one another before they all come together. That Halloween night, Huey attempted to create a rigid schedule for their trick-or-treating adventure to ensure that his family would be able to get enough candy for an entire year. Dewey, on the other hand, obsessed over the idea of a 24-hour candy store so that everyone could have access to candy all the time, and Louie wanted to explore the haunted Hazel house to obtain a candy supply that would last them a lifetime. And Webby wanted to meet some monsters. Sure, they mostly all wanted candy. I often feel that too. Sour gummy worms are an absolute delicacy but the way each of them hoped to get their candy differed, and that's significant. Through each of these ducks' perspectives on what they wanted to get from Halloween, we are able to see the good and bad aspects of Scrooge McDuck conflict with one another. And in a previous discussion on who I think will inherit the McDuck fortune, I acknowledge this type of idea. Through the new DuckTales series, we are getting an opportunity to see how each of the triplets are unique and flawed. And through their battles with one another, we get to see which traits are actually the best for all of them. We are beginning to see what aspects of Scrooge McDuck should live on within his family because not every choice the boys make brings them together. So far, through Dewey's noble quest to discover the truth about his mother, we see how much pain can be caused when secrets are kept from family. Through Louie's desire to become rich himself, we are shown how greed can corrupt a good duck, and while Huey hasn't had an arc yet to show massive character development, we are shown that he was willing to manipulate his family to keep them together which actually led to them being pushed apart. On Halloween night, Huey and Louie have a notable conflict because Huey lies to his trick-or-treating group about his lack of knowledge about the Hazel House because he didn't want them to have the lifetime supply of candy that Louie was after. Huey didn't want them to have so many riches that they would never come together again because the moments they had going trick-or-treating growing up used to be his favorite adventures. He doesn't want to stop having Halloweens with his brothers and Webby, and Scrooge absolutely is shown to agree with that desire. Even though Scrooge McDuck is the richest duck in the world, that doesn't mean that he has ever stopped going out in costumes to search for free candy. He's just as committed as anyone to relive his childhood by eating sweets like a rich man's son. Sure, he could have bought a lifetime supply of candy many lives over, but that's not the true fun for him. The whole point is to attempt to outwork and earn the most candy compared to every other kid, which is what Louis initially missed. Louis went went on an adventure on Halloween and valued the outcome of unlimited candy over enjoying the process of trick-or-treating itself. Of course, while Huey should have been upfront about his fears, they were warranted because while the act of diving into a haunted house wasn't bad on its own, Louis should have done it for the enjoyment of exploring a spooky place. Sure, there's nothing wrong with going after candy, treasure, or riches unless you're doing so at a massive cost to other things you care about, and Louis missed that. This is a lesson that I've been trying to learn a lot over the past few years on YouTube. I want to be able to grow a community that is large enough and supportive enough to allow me to continue doing this full time. But I also know that I have to pursue that while also continuously falling in love with creating videos and the business around the channel because otherwise this dream job ceases to be that. At times there's topics I know I should be talking about to optimize my channel for success or things I shouldn't touch to succeed on my current path. But if I can't enjoy the journey of being on YouTube, then what separates this from anything else I could be doing 
doing. Especially now that I'm done with college, I really want this channel to be a place where people can come together to discover and spread magic as I share my passions with all of you, whether that be by discussing Disney, learning from people who are following their dreams, or hopefully soon by breaking down the fascinating science and technology that is creating a positive impact for the future. By focusing on the outcome more than the journey, Louis would have lost the most important part of Halloween. He didn't initially see that if he actually received the candy that he was after and only continued to value that, he would be left without his Halloween family tradition. And moments like these, I think, are a fascinating way to explore the triplets. They are the embodiment of Scrooge McDuck's legacy, but they also have to figure out for themselves how to not make the same mistakes that he did throughout his life. Uncle Scrooge had at times too much greed, and there were periods where his family was torn apart due to his recklessness, lack of foresight, and deceit. So if his nephews hope to carry on his business adventures and family when he's gone, they have to learn that they need to make corrections in their lives. The triplets can't do what Scrooge did without the risk of everything that went wrong for Scrooge eventually happening to them. Together, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and arguably Webby, all have the potential that Scrooge McDuck did when he was their age, but to ensure that they don't just become him, and instead be something even better than him, they need to work together, push themselves, and evolve so that their grand riches, adventures, and most importantly, their family can continue to grow. And so far, we are shown they have been able to do that. That's why when Louie realized Huey's fears and found out that their Halloween had passed, they decided to go with Dewey's idea of a 24-hour candy store with the support of the oh-so-capable Scrooge McDuck to keep the holiday going. The determined, hopeful, and entrepreneurial minds of those ducks just kept turning, which allowed them to have a pretty great Halloween. Well, let me know down below what your thoughts and theories are around Huey, Dewey, and Louie's future, what you thought about the DuckTales Halloween special, and what other spooky videos you'd like to see this month. Also, make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell, and then click on another magical video in the description on the screen. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching, thank you to my patrons, and have a magical day.